Good afternoon, Andrew from Touchscreens Melbourne here. I uh, just wanted to show you today a little bit about using PowerPoint as a, a touch presentation program. Um, if you've got a touchscreen or a kiosk, uh, obviously most people have seen our touch presenter software which is a fantastic package, um, but if you're on a very tight budget and you've got access to PowerPoint then it's obviously a lot more cost effective. It won't give you the same functionality, uh, you won't be able to lock it down as tightly um, and it won't be as feature rich as Touch Presenter, but for a basic presentation uh, you, you can get away with, with just using PowerPoint in some circumstances. Um, so essentially what we've done here is, is created buttons, which we've made a text box and then had a colour fill, so we've filled it with red and changed the, the font to white so it, it stands out and it basically becomes a touch button. Uh, when we jump onto it and select it and then right click while we're on the edge um, it says here edit hyperlink so I've, I've already added a hyperlink but you can edit the hyperlink and that'll show you you can jump to the first slide if it's, say if it's a home button you can jump back to the original slide um, you can jump to the, the last slide if you, know, you want to see the end um, you can pick any slide throughout the, the whole presentation to jump to so different buttons can jump to different different things. So essentially you can lead someone through the presentation asking them, them questions or choices and take them to a, a result. Uh, you can also play a file, uh, so it could be a video or jump into another PowerPoint presentation or go to a web page which again if, if you want to jump onto your website that, that might be useful um, or go to an email address. So you can actually send to an email address, it, it's not, it's a little bit clunky, um, it's not as neat as Touch Presenter but the functionality is there if you wanted to use it. So I'll just hit cancel. Now I'll jump into the show and just show you again. So do you know how to use a touch screen? Pretty easy, you touch it. Uh, so we say yes. So that's just advanced us to the next slide. What operating system do you use? Well, we'll say Windows. Um, a lot of people do use Linux or uh, or Mac OS and we, we certainly can accommodate that with drivers but uh, yeah, most people just use Windows uh, and the touch screens are compatible with Windows straight out of the box. Um, what size screen do you want? I'll say 23 here because that's my favourite number um, and then it just jumps in. Your ideal touch screen is the NX 230 from Touch Screens Melbourne. So you, essentially you can guide people through a process. I've got the buy now feature there so I'll touch that and that jumps into an email because that's the action I had set there. But again, you can see with that, uh, the start bar comes up. Um, in Windows 7, a, a, a keyboard will automatically come up, um, but I'm running XP on this old machine. So anyway, that just gives you a bit of an idea of what you can do with, uh, with PowerPoint. Rather than you know, spending the money on Touch Presenter, if, you, if it's very basic, you can get away with PowerPoint. If you want some, I guess, some safety features, so it's locked down, so people can't get into into things behind it, um, and some advanced features, so you can, you can do a little bit more. Then Touch Present is brilliant. But yeah, just thought I'd show you that uh, the PowerPoint is pretty powerful as well. Cheers. Have a great day.